5 and 8 tenths subtracting mixed numbers. Why are we subtracting mixed numbers, you might ask? Well, because we're not always going to have whole numbers. We're not always going to have fractions. Sometimes we're going to have a combination of the two, and we need to understand how to do that. So let's look at the how. The first method that we're going to look at is called the number line poster, and we will be looking at this in class. But as you can see, I have a number line, and this number line is in thirds. It counts from 0 thirds here all the way to 12 thirds. Now notice that I have numerators bigger than my denominators in several places. And underneath some of these spots I have the whole number 1, the whole number 2, 3, and 4 because I'm showing you the equivalent to that particular fraction. So let's say that our problem is 3 and 1 third minus 1 and 2 thirds. So how could I find 3 and 1 third on this number line? I'm going to find the whole number 3, which is 9 thirds, and I'm going to go one spot over because that would be 3 and 1 third. I'm going to subtract 1 and 2 thirds. So I need a whole number and then 2 thirds. So how could I use this number line to figure out my answer? Alright, so if you look at my blue arrow here, this would be where we're going to start. We're going to start at 10 thirds and we're going to subtract 1 and 2 thirds. So 1 is going to be 3 thirds, right? So I'm going to back it up three spots, one, two, three. That's my whole number, one. And then I need to subtract another two-thirds, so one, two. So my final answer would be five-thirds, or does anyone know what mixed number that's going to be? That would be one and two-thirds. Our next method is break the problem into two subtraction problems. So you might be asking, what in the world am I talking about? Well, I'm basically going to separate the whole numbers. So my whole number is 3 on this side minus 1 on the other. So this itself is going to give me 2. And then I have to do 1 third minus two-thirds. Oh, what am I going to do in that situation? Am I going to have to take a whole? Yeah, this one's going to get a little complicated because I would actually need to borrow. So I didn't pick a very good example with this particular situation. So um, anyway, what we would do is we would take a group of three-thirds from here, which is one whole, which leaves me with 1, and this would become 4 thirds. So now I could do my 4 minus my 2, which is going to give me 2 thirds. So my final answer would be 1 and 2 thirds. So that is breaking the problem into two subtraction problems, basically subtracting your whole numbers first, and then subtracting your fractions, and then putting them back together. Our last method is to actually replace each mixed number with an equivalent fraction greater than 1. So basically we're wanting to take that mixed number and turn it into a mixed fraction. Or not a mixed fraction, but what we used to call an improper fraction. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to multiply my 3 times my 3, and then you're going to add the one on top. So 3 times 3 gives me 9 plus 1 gives me 10. So 3 and 1 third is equal to 10 thirds. And then we're going to do 1 times 3 here and then add 2. So 1 times 3 is 3 plus 2 is 5. So now we have 10 thirds minus 5 thirds and once again we only subtract the numerators so my answer would become 
five thirds. So th those are the three methods for this particular lesson. In class, we will work with partners to use a variety of strategies to solve number stories involving the subtraction of mixed numbers with like denominators.